Welcome to today's edition of Layoff and Employment News by Employment Boost. Today's date is Tuesday, May 9th, 2023. If you are an individual affected by a layoff or if you are a company facing a reduction in force, click the link above now or in the description box below for more information about our firm's outplacement support services and how we can help you as an individual land on your feet faster and get into a new job as quickly as possible or as an organization, how we can smooth the layoff process and assist with your reduction in force. Now on to today's headlines. The biggest news is that tech giant Intel is planning a fresh wave of layoffs after laying off more than 500 employees last fall. So far, there are no firm reports on how big the reduction in force is or what areas might be getting targeted, but the early rumors are that the layoffs will be significant. Intel sales and revenue are massively down over the past six months due to increased competition in a difficult global economy, and further cost reduction measures will probably be engaged soon. Indian e-commerce startup Misho has laid off 251 employees recently, or around 15% of their total workforce. Like so many other tech companies, Misho is targeting a more sustainable profitability after the COVID-19 pandemic flurry of growth. Rapid API, a tech startup that built out an APA marketplace valued at $1 billion just last year, has laid off another 70 employees less than two weeks after letting go 50% of its staff. The company had 230 employees in April and now boasts just 42, a reduction in headcount of 82% in less than a month. All of the company's remaining workers in Europe were affected, leaving only American personnel on staff. Finally, the Israeli business monitoring startup Anodot is laying off 20% of its workforce after letting go of a large chunk of its staff last July. Anadot has raised $62.5 million from a variety of investors since its founding in 2014, but is attempting to achieve financial independence and needed to cut costs for sustainability.